the legs. It was so much legs. I would tell myself just me, lady. I don't need a lot. I don't need a lot, no. Just me and the fan, two friends ain't playing. I don't speak a lot. And I, and I, and I can't stop. 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 I'm that cash money get up. Big show stop up. It is that crazy week in between the holidays where I feel like no one really knows what day it is. Everyone just kind of hangs out, a lot of people have off, and uh, a lot of things get pushed to the wayside. And I kind of have a weird week because I work today, I worked the holidays, and now I am flying out tonight after work at like 11 p.m. to go visit some family in Florida. So today is a crazy day, but what I am doing is I am prioritizing getting in the gym just for an hour, just for me to be able to get in that kind of stuff that is important for me to feel good, but not take too long because I do have a lot of other things to do. But I feel like on weeks like this, the gym kind of gets thrown to the wayside. We don't go, we're busy with other things, we have other priorities, and then we just sort of don't feel as good. And we sometimes get off track. So I wanna encourage you if you're seeing this to try to do what you can to get into the gym, even on the days where it's a little bit more difficult or really just get outside and get some movement because even that little thing will make you feel so much better. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about how I am getting that in today. Woke up a little bit earlier than I usually do because I have a bunch of things to do, including finish packing and take my dog to where he's being boarded, which makes me so sad. I just wanted to cuddle him all night because I was sad about leaving him. But I will show you and I'll show you the workout. Hi Carson. Here's Carson because he's required to hang out with me today. Well, not required, but I just miss him so much already. And I haven't even left. But over here, I laid out my gym clothes last night just to make things exceedingly easy for me in the morning. Know exactly what I'm gonna wear, waking up a little bit earlier than usual, going to an earlier class than usual. I just wanna take any sort of complications out of it so that it's easy for me to get ready, get out the door and get it in. Very full parking lot. It's the day after Thanksgiving, so, and it's a Monday. So I'm surprised, but in a good way. Happy to see it. Into the gym now. We go forever now. We go forever and ever, yeah. You know that I'm at your setter, yeah. You can say you can do better, uh. No, no, it won't let em, uh. We go forever and ever, yeah. I go and create the pressure, yeah. You can say you can do better, uh. You can say you can do better, yeah. I know that I can do better. I'm so in love with the chatter. I'm so in love with my little boo. It was written like a letter. Think I was born with the juice. Think I was born with the sauce. Think I was born to look crazy. Then I turned out to a boss. God, I gotta go and get it. It was so much legs. First round, you really notice it? That one minute rest is not a lot. Coming back to those shoulder to overhead. Heavy. It felt heavy. My legs felt heavy. But very good, very sweaty. You can see, surprisingly, sweaty even though it's only like in the 40s, high 40s. 50. Home to bring Carson to camp. I will break down the workout in a few minutes. <laughs> or like a few hours. Okay, finally wrapping up this video. I made it to Florida, lots of traveling, 
uh, crazy long security lines at San Francisco International Airport, but I did make it here. It was a long day, but I am happy I got that workout in because I ended up sitting on the plane for a long time, like, you know, five or six hours to get to Florida from San Francisco. So it was nice to get that bit of movement in. That workout, if you wanna try it, technically the rules of it are you can break it up however you want. So it was eight shoulder to overhead, 10 burpees over the bar, bar facing burpees, gotta face the bar, not lateral, facing the bar, and then uh, 35 double unders. So you could have broken that up and did like four shoulder to overhead, five of the burpees and a couple of the double unders. I don't think that's worth it. If you really wanna go fast and get as much time to bike on the seat do pike and really accumulate calories, I think your best bet is just to do everything unbroken. So I did the eight shoulder overhead at the 105, 155, unbroken each time, right into those burpees over the bar, and then the double unders. That's really how you're going to maximize the amount of time on the C2 bike. And also I think the weight, if you're looking to scale the weight, should be something light enough that you can do in one unbroken set, maybe two if you really need to, but if it's something you have to break up more than that, I would suggest lightening the load on that barbell. This was kind of a fun video to share a workout I did with you recently, but there's a lot more stuff coming in the future. So subscribe if you're interested in seeing more and like this video if you enjoyed this one. I plan to do a bunch of stuff for Wadapalooza that's coming up in just a few weeks in January. So I'm really excited about that. Probably some stuff previewing and then I will try to watch all of it and give you guys some of the uh, key moments and things that I think people should be aware of because there's just so much that happens during these events and sometimes I think you get some real gems when you watch them and listen to some of the play-by-play -play and hear some things you might not have known about beforehand. So I really try to watch all of that so that I can uh, bring some of that to you here in a video in the future. I'll probably also do some predictions about what we're expecting to see at Wadapalooza and what the podiums will look like. So I hope you all enjoy those videos in the future. And then the open series, I'll be doing the open again and I will definitely be posting my workouts and my experience every week and probably gonna do some fun predictions about what we're going to see this open, just, just for fun, we never know, but it's kind of fun to debate and talk about what it could be. I think that's part of the fun of having this community here is to debate some ideas like that and you know, talk about what we hope to see in the open. All right, I hope you all enjoyed watching and I'll see you in the next one, bye. Something else I wanted to add that I forgot before I stopped recording was that I really think it is important to try to prioritize getting in movement when you can, but I also think it's important to balance that out with enjoying other things over the holidays, like times with your family and friends and enjoying food and things like that. I personally just like to make sure I also get in, you know, just some movements that makes me continue to feel good throughout the holiday season. And holidays get a little bit hard with different schedules, staying in a routine and getting those things done. And I don't even think anyone should feel guilty or feel like they need to necessarily get to the gym specifically. There's a lot of stuff you can do just like in life to try to keep up your physical activity, like just take walks. Uh, if you have a dog, take the dog out, go for a walk after you eat, just wake up in the morning and go for a little walk when you wake up to get some sunlight and some vitamin D while you, you know, wake up and wake up your body. I really enjoy all those things. For me, everyone has their own thing. Maybe some people like take complete rest and that's cool too, but I do think I always feel better when I just get in a little bit of movement. And right now over the holidays, while I am out of state visiting some people and don't have a gym membership here, I just try to do what I can to keep moving and keep prioritizing the things that make me happy, like movement, um, but not letting it get in the way of enjoying other things and uh, other people and things like that. I think it's all about balance and I think we sometimes overestimate what we can do in a day, but underestimate what we can do in a year. And what I mean by that is like today, you don't need to go do everything. You're not going to, be able to accomplish everything you want to do. You're not going to, be able to do every lift. You're not going to be able to do every wad that you might have missed over the couple of days you took off. Um, but in a year, just having done something is going to help get you closer to your goals. So even if that is just going for a walk 
uh, it's better than doing nothing if you feel that that'll help you, you know, get closer to your goals. So anyway, that's it. 